My name is Shayla Cummings-Ricks and I'm an admin assistant at Okta. I started at Okta in May and I currently support three leaders on the marketing team. My day typically starts with checking my phone, scrolling through any urgent messages and emails to see what needs to be addressed first, uh, taking care of those items and then getting to work on any of the emails that came in overnight. What makes me most successful in my role is that I'm a very, very strict inbox zero person. So I never log off for the day until my inbox is completely down to zero. That way I can quickly adjust for anything that comes in overnight. The primary responsibility that I have is managing the calendars of the leaders that I support. So my organization strengths come in there so that they have time to um, get to all their meetings as well as get their work done. I schedule, you know, everything for them from with one-on-ones with their team members, group meetings with other leaders across the company, as well as the fun stuff, the team events and ordering gifts for people. It gets stressful. I currently manage two West Coast leaders and the third one is in East Coast time. So time zones are something I've, you know, become very familiar with and definitely present the biggest challenges, especially being with a global company. Um, we have people all over the world. So my my uh, other strength that comes into play most often is communication. So what's great about my role, if it's something you're interested in, is that take on an admin assistant role or move up to an executive assistant role in any industry. All leaders need that support. They don't have time to manage their calendars as well as take on the big projects and keep their big picture stuff in mind. So if these are kind of the strengths that you have, it's definitely something to consider. As a kid, I was always the one, um, you know, planning things for my friends. I took so much joy in reorganizing my room and using agendas and calendars and scheduling things. So I, it makes sense that this is where I've ended up, but it wasn't a straight line to get here. And I went to University of Oregon for four years of college. And I got a business degree. Throughout college, I did, I worked in retail. So I was doing sales in that sense. And then when I graduated college, I got a job doing tech sales and I was kind of starting to climb the ladder there and then realized that it really wasn't the sales that I loved. It was the people that I worked with and having that great bond with my teammates. So I decided to kind of reassess and see, you know, what my strengths were. So in sales, I was successful because I was an effective communicator and I stayed on top of my game. So I decided to try something new and take on an assistant role. And in that I got to not only use my strengths to um, support someone else and so that they could focus on their strengths, but I also got to take on the role of creating, you know, a fun place to be. You want work to be somewhere that people actually want to wake up and go to. And I love being the person that kind of provides those fun outlets. So it's not just, you know, work and email all the time. It's something that brings people a little bit more joy than that. It was the organization and communication that made me most effective in this role. So when I got the opportunity to join Okta and take on more responsibility by, by uh, supporting a couple of more leaders, I jumped at the opportunity. Anything I can do at this point to kind of grow my skills and take on more, it's a, just a really exciting learning opportunity every day for me. I think the most important things that I learned in school, K through 12, as well as in college, is really communication and working with other people. So taking advantage of any group project that comes up to kind of be the person that keeps people on track and be able to practice that skill and have, you know, the time management um, resources and have that become a strength definitely made me more successful. Um, and I always say that the most valuable thing I learned in college really was to write a professional email. You don't realize really how much goes into that until you'll know, get in those awkward situations. So when it's, you're with a professor and you need to, you know, explain something that went wrong or ask for an extension, or, you know, maybe you miss something because you zoned out in class, being able to follow up and say, you know, this is what happened, taking responsibility and then being professional, providing solutions or whatever it is that you need to communicate and ask for. Those stressful situations are what make writing a professional email that much easier for anything else that may come up. 
And that's something that I've used in all aspects of my life. You know, if I am dealing with a parking ticket or a customer service team um, or at work, obviously. And that's something that you continue to improve on constantly, making your communication clearer, more concise and more efficient. Um, definitely something that I've even continued to learn and um, get better at this year with everyone being remote. Um, it's all pretty much written communication unless you're on a Zoom call and nobody is looking for more Zoom calls right now. So the more efficient you can write an email, the less Zoom calls you have to be on. So that's definitely been something that I carry with me throughout my entire life. And I, to this day, still say, like I said, is the most valuable thing that I learned in college. Um, I think part of what's so great about being at Okta is having great coworkers. I think that one thing that makes a great coworker is the simple act of, you know, starting a day. If it's the first time you're talking to someone for that, for that day, just saying, hi, how are you? Showing a genuine interest in that person and not just what you need from them. Um, I also think, you know, being conscious of other people's time is really important. So that kind of comes back to having really clear, effective communication, writing those great emails or messages so that, you know, there's not a whole lot of back and forth follow up questions. I hope that was helpful. Um, I, I love what I do. I love working at Okta. And I think if you have similar strengths, then becoming an assistant is an excellent thing to do. It's really fun. It's really rewarding. And you get to have some great relationships with people. All right. Take care.